Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. Let's say there are certain tasks you do repeatedly, or maybe you'd like to customize Excel a certain way beyond just modifying the ribbon bar. One option is you can write macros in Visual Basic or set up a Python development environment, but that could be difficult and time-consuming. Another option is to install ready-made add-ins. Add-ins have been available for the last several versions of Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, and you can get them for the Windows, Mac, and browser versions. Some extensions are free, some you have to pay for, and most of those have trial versions, so you can try them before you buy. In this video, I'll show you a couple of add-ins you might like, and we'll also show you two ways of installing them because you might not always have a choice. So let's take a look, see how it works. I started mentioning just before, there are two ways to get and install add-ins. I'll start with the more simple way. On the ribbon bar, I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And over here, I have this section called Add-ins. Now, my screen is a little squished to do this recording, so I actually have to click the little down arrow on this icon to see what's there. But on your screen, you might have all this already visible. Now, if you already have Add-ins installed, you could hit this down arrow and you you'll see what's there. I don't have any installed yet on this machine, so that's why it's empty. What I'm going to do is click Get Add-ins. And this shows me all kinds of add-ins that are available. And to start with, this is showing me all categories. And you can see these are some popular ones like Wikipedia and Microsoft Visio and all that. And I can scroll down. If there's a particular category that I'm interested in, maybe data analytics, I could click this category and I can see all these add-ins for data analytics or maybe financial management. There's all kinds of add-ins available for that. So when you're looking at these, you see some are free, some are not. Those that are not free usually have free trials or like this one here, you could download it for free, but there might be additional purchases that you have to do. Well, what I want to do is I want an add-in that will give me a nice chart for this demographic info that we were looking at before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the All category, and I'm going to search. So I'm going to click in the search box, and I'm going to type the word chart, press Enter. And I see here's all kinds of add-ins for charting. And I'm going to scroll till I find this one here called People Graph. This is a free add-in. It's made by Microsoft. Now, if I want a little bit of info from it, I could just click it. And it gives me a card, and I can see what's going on there. And then I could decide, OK, if I want it, I could just hit Add. Let me go back for a moment. If I already know what it is, and I don't need to go and look at that card, I could click Add right here. So let's go do that. And gives me a little bit of information. I'm going to click Continue. And right off the bat, it installs it and it runs it. So I can see what kind of uh, graph this is. Let me scroll up to the top. This thing tends to jump around a little bit. I might need to drag this down here. So this is giving me a sample. I'm not really so crazy about the way this looks. So I'm going to click it, and then I got these two little buttons there. So I'm going to click on this little gear for the settings. So I could choose a little bit about how I want it to look. I'm going to choose this middle one here, the yellow one. And I'm going to go here and look at the theme. So these are a couple of different themes that I can try. I'll look at shape, and maybe instead of just the head and torso, maybe I want a full body. So I'm going to choose that. So that's shape, theme, type. And when I'm done with settings, I hit that down arrow. OK, so well, what about the data? Let's move this out of the way here. And I'll click, and this little button there will let me choose the data. So this is OK. Select your data. So I'm going to go 
and select the headers, and I'm going to select the data, then click here, select your data, select the 10 rows and two columns. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to click Create. And notice there's not enough room here right now. This is only shown through Rhode Island, which you can see is on row 9, but my data is going down to row 13, so I can scroll down here a little bit, make this a little taller. So it ends in Pennsylvania, and now I have this chart. Now, I don't really like this, what do students do in summer? So I'm going to go and change that. So I could simply click that. Might take a couple of tries before this comes up. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to say state populations. And close that. So now I have a header. Now, looking at this, so you could see, you know, kind of like a column chart or a bar chart. It, really shows you what the difference is in size for each one. And at any time I could click, I could go back to the gears and I could say, all right, maybe I want a different theme. You know, maybe I want this one. I want to change it. Maybe I want to change or change the type rather, change the theme. So you could do this even after uh, it's done and then close it. Now, one thing that I'm not crazy about with this particular add-in is you see how big it is. You can't really change it. If I try to shrink it, it's going to give me that error message before, like down below, that says, uh, hey, expand it uh, to show all your data. But this is a good idea of how one of these add-ins, how a simple add-in is going to work. OK, so that's great. But what about the next time I want to use this add-in? So I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this here. Pretend that it's not there. I'll just leave the data selected. So this is where I go back to add-ins and where it says my add-ins and I hit the down arrow. There's people graph. So now I could just click it and we start all over again. So this could be for a different worksheet perhaps. So I'm just going to delete this. I don't really need this right now, but that's how that's going to work. So getting add-ins from the ribbon bar is great. But kind of like the U2 song, you might not find what you're looking for when there's a particular task that you want. And that's OK, because there is another way of installing add-ins. And that is to go to the company that makes it and download and install it directly. So when I go to that add-in, if there's something that I'm looking for and I type in the search and I don't see it, this is when I might go the third-party route. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's a website of one of many add-in makers, and it's called Extend Office. And there's this great feature called Office Tab. It's up to version 14.5. And what this does is it brings us full circle back to the old days, to the very old days of having multiple documents inside a single program window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here under the purchase menu. I'm going to click office tab, scroll down a little bit, and you can see there's for like a single user is $40 and enterprise and gives you tabs for a few more applications is $50. So I could purchase this or I could download the free version. You know, if I go here to download, I could download office tab and it'll work for uh, a little while for a week or two before I have to go and purchase it or uninstall it. Now, I've already done that. I've already downloaded it and installed it. So let me take you back to Excel so we can see it. So you can see on my ribbon bar, I have this tab here called Office tab. That's not the standard part of Excel. That was installed by the Office tab add-in. So let me go there. And now I'm just going to enable it. You see it says Show tab bar. And now I have this list of files here. So I could just click one of these tabs to very easily cycle back and forth between one file and another. And down on my ribbon bar, which you can't see in this recording, I only have a single instance of Excel running. I don't need to have four Excel windows running on my desktop to see these four documents. Something that's kind of important that you should know is, let me go back to the Insert tab. Since I did not go to the ribbon bar to install the add-in, when I'm in the add-ins area here and I go to my add-ins, you notice this Office tab add-in isn't there. 
So if I want to change some of the settings, if I need to uninstall it or something like that, what I have to do is I go to the File tab, and in the File tab, I go to Options to get my Excel Options screen, and then down here I go to Add-ins. And I can see there's Office tab, so if I need to disable it or uninstall it, I would do it here. I'm just going to cancel out. I think that's a pretty good add-in. You can see there are a lot of extensions for all sorts of purposes. Take some time and browse through there. You might find something you didn't even know you needed, and it might not cost much. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.